Uh, moving on, we have an email query that's coming in. Rahul Manohar has written and says that if he gets paid by the government for land acquired by the government again under the land acquisition law, does he need to declare this amount and pay tax on it? So the government is paying him here. The, will that constitute income? It does not matter. Uh, even a compulsory acquisition is transfer as far as the Income Tax Act is concerned. So if the government acquires your land, clearly you have to pay uh, capital gains tax on it. You will have to work it out like a regular thing. Uh, whatever the government pays minus whatever is your cost and you can get indexation on it. I am assuming you have held it for at least three years. That but it Harsh, is long that term. is not fair. I am giving up my land to the government when I had no intention of selling it for, you know, for probably some infrastructure project or something that's coming in. And if the government says, okay, fine, I'll compensate you for that, why should I pay income? Uh, why should I pay tax on it, capital gains or income tax on it? Uh, well, tax laws are not designed to be fair, Kavita, one. Two, of course, if it is long-term capital gains, you have the ability to invest that in another uh, residential asset. If it is up to 50 lakhs, you can invest it in the capital gain bonds so that you don't have to pay tax. So if whatever uh, consideration you receive from the government, if the entire consideration you invest it in capital gain bonds, uh, uh, if either uh, not the entire consideration as far as capital gains bond is concerned, the capital gains portion if you invest in the capital gain bond or if the entire consideration if you invest in a residential flat within the stipulated period, it will be exempt. Just one point I wanted to make. If this land is agricultural land, which is in the large parts it is, mm. if it is agricultural land that is at least 8 kilometers away from a large uh, uh, urban uh, township, uh, then it is not even a capital asset under the Income Tax Act. And then there is no capital gains tax. So that will be very specific. In this case, we don't know whether it is agricultural land, whether it is more than 8 kilometers away from an urban uh, area. Area. Right. So, key takeaway over there coming for you right on the top of our show, if your land is acquired for infrastructure or for any other purpose by the government and it is agricultural land, it is more than 8 kilometers away from a city centre, you need not pay tax on that uh, money that you are getting from the government uh, because it will not qualify as a capital asset. However, if it is within city limits or near the city limit, within that 8 kilometer radius, if it is not agricultural land, then you will have to pay tax on that windfall. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magicbricksnow. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magicbricksnow. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.